Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Return of the Obra Dinn. Commentary on this episode is going to be just a little bit different. Uh, when I was going through the editing process, I realized that there was no commentary. So this is post-commentary, so I'm going to try and remember what I'm, tr what I'm doing and what my thoughts are during this whole process of trying to figure out these fates on the Obra Dinn. So last time, we, we saw the giant squid attack. Now, there was a little bit of talk of mutiny. As you can see, these two gentlemen met a pretty gruesome end. The guy in the chair has his arm ripped off. So we're going to see what this guy has to show us. Easy now. You're in a bad way. It's the squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. No, that. The beast is Frenchman. dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hole. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. Oh, but the, the Kraken just left? So, it's the guy in the top hat. Or the, the smaller top hat. The other guy has a ridiculously big top hat. Alright. He's got no arm. He's talking about a Frenchman. The only person we saw ripped apart by the Kraken was the guy with all the crazy tattoos. But I don't think tattoos like that were really the, the style in France. You got someone coming up from below deck. I'm gonna try and just examine the entire area. Oh, there's our boy, the captain. The Kung Fu master himself. So we're in Chapter 9, Escape. We don't really have enough information as to how this guy died. Like, his arm got ripped off, but... You know, his... His arm could have been cut off. Oh. Memories where this person appear. You know, you can... Oh, book bookmark all memories. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So this is it's teaching me how I can just bookmark stuff. So if I need to really track somebody, I can just track them quickly. Then on the deck map, you can kind of you can just go chronologically where this person was. Is this the Frenchman he's talking about? Because he's the only person that we saw got, you know, got ripped apart. We don't have really much information on him. Alright, well, we're just going to boom tube out of here. Ooh, ooh, a lot. There's a lot of fates in this chapter. Whoa. A lot of people died. Disappearances? What? Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can find another another corpse. Oh, oh, we're going to check out, check out our torso friend. 
see if we can find the guy whose arm got ripped off. We're looking for the, the top hat. Well, not that guy. There he is. So he still has an arm here. Hmm. Everyone's just everyone's fighting the Kraken. And he's he's trying to catch that gun. And that dude just holds on for dear life. Alright, we're gonna boom tube out of here. And not didn't really get too much information out of that. We're gonna keep exploring. Open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip to the page. That's a nice little quick, you know, quick shortcut. Just really, really trying to piece together who this guy is. Because we got some information from him. So where was he? He he was in the seven Doom Part Seven, and then the Doom Part Eight as well. Uh, we might have to just keep investigating. Let's check the crew manifest. We got Charles Minor from France. Is anybody else from France? England, a lot of English, a lot of Englishmen. No, there's only one French guy on the ship. All right, just the squid. Where's my Frenchman? Frenchman might be might be the key to figuring who this who this guy is. But we're gonna go with him being the bosun, because if the bosun's mate is French, then he would obviously be the bosun. And verdammt, since he's Austrian, he would speak German. And verdammt is, I believe, German for damn. So we got a name and a face for that guy. Still don't really want to make any assumptions on how he died just quite yet. Nice little room here. Wait, wait, what's this? Oh, wait, is that just a foot? Yeah, that's just a foot swinging. With a... Oh, what's the bone that connects to your ankle? The tibia? Fibula? Oh, Yeah, that dude took one right in the chest. Alright, who is that? Oh. Okay, who's this? Firing squad guy. Who's this? Eh, someone we don't we don't really know. We haven't seen him before, I don't think. And who's this? Okay. Whoa, whoa. Is that a That's one of the Formosans? He's just, he's strung up. Huh. Who's this guy? Oh, he got speared right in the leg. Oh, was, was there someone up there too? Let's 
Chapter 3. Murder. Well, we, we know how they died. They, they got shot. With a gun. Uh, we don't have enough information as to who who shot him. Oh, Pocket Watch is freaking out. Time to steal a soul. Ooh, look at that muzzle flash. Aha! We're gonna get the soul of the man who's been strung up. Oh. Ah, we gotta go all the way up top now. Alright, time to play our favorite game. Follow the smoke trail. Which always just goes around everything instead of making a beeline for it. Like, why? Why does it need to do this? Why does it have to go around the main mast of the ship? Well, this seems to be a very... Unfortunate situation he's found himself in. Oop, just kind of spinning around there. All right, let's see what the hanging man has to tell us. Oh, we got a name. Well, we have another name. As captain of this ship. And by the authority Ooh, of yeah. the East Ooh, India lot of information. and thus the crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. No, oh, so ready he wasn't then. hung. He... Is he going to get shot? Fire. Oh, he's getting riddled with bullets. Well, no, he's not getting riddled, actually. Oh, man, everyone's... Oh! Oh, this is the sketch. It looks like only one bullet actually hits him from the blood splatter. Let's see if we can trace the... Trace the bullet trajectory. Found it. All right, so he's the one that fired the fatal shot. The guy that keeps showing up in a lot of places. Oh. Oh, there's the artist. Ah, so we finally have a face for the artist and not just the initials on the sketch. Okay, so we know who this guy is. This is Hawk Sang Lao. And we know that he was shot with a gun. But we don't know who shot him. Now we have a name for the or at least a face for the artist. And artist E.S. Edward Spratt. And that has to be Miss Lim. We were given her name. Um, Bud La Lim. Okay. So we've got two out of the four Formosans. That dude's covering his ears. He is not happy about the loud noise. How do how do three out of the four miss? They're like right there. And we were given this guy's name. Uh, this is Wolf. Ah, the gunner. 
I guess that would make sense that the gunner is going to be the one to give the order to fire. Hmm, this guy's standing next to him. That's the bosun. Then... I have a working theory on who that guy is in the... In the weird, like, top brim, like, half brim top hat. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep investigating. As the smoke very slowly makes its way. Very slowly. Oh, yeah, I, I have to actually look at it? What, does it not exist when it's not on camera? All right, all right, I'll follow you, even though I know exactly where we're going. Why does it take such a long path to go literally three feet? Now let's see what Body Bag Man is gonna show us. Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Senor Nico, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, we got a name, Nichols. Watch your step. Here, let me help you. Ooh! Oh, right in the gut. What's... Is he punching him? So that has to be Nichols. He's over here. Up oh, there's there's Hak Sang Lao. Alright, he's been bludgeoned. Alright, there's the chest that's on the page of the book, you know, for this chapter. Anyone else around? Is it just these three? Looks like it's just these three. Like nothing's protruding out of him. I don't, I, did he get? Did he just get punched or did he get shanked? Corpses move post mortem. But this should be Nunzio. Because that's why Hoxang Lao was shot. And he's the only person from Italy. Um, we're going to go with. Do we go with knife or do we just wait for more information? Now we're going to try Knifed by Edward Nichols, second mate. He's the only person from Italy, so he would say Signor. And so now we can put a name to Nichols. We haven't seen him perish yet. So that's all really the information we can get from him. Let's check the sketch real quick. So we've identified most of the mates. So, so we know that you know, this person's face appears blurred. Blurring indicates you don't have information yet. You can still enter their fates. It would be unproductive. Faces become unblurred when you have enough information. But we have enough information. We've identified all the other mates. 
and because of his hat, the fancy hat he's got on, he should be the fourth mate. Just by process of elimination, we can figure that out. Double check, yeah. Well, I think that's might be it for this memory. We're just gonna boom tube on out of here. There's only only three dead bodies. Well, we're right off the Canary Islands. So still pretty early into our journey. Well, looks like we don't have any souls that we need to steal. So we're gonna have to go locate locate another memory on the ship somewhere. We got the guy who was crushed by the cannon. Was this door open before? Oh, we're on the bow of the ship. Okay. Oh, we got a pile of bones and a skull. Let's see what this pile of bones will show us. Oh. Ew. He's, he's really straining on this one. Oh! Oh, the Kraken. S squeeze the poop right out of him. Who is this? Aha, it's the artist. Oh man, just, just trying to take a late, drop a late night deuce and crack it out of nowhere. What's that sound? What's that smell? He's really, he's really pushing one out. Alright, got a couple of dudes sitting down to dinner. Who's over here? Third and wait a minute. That guy's hanging out with the third mate. We got more hammocks, but some people sleeping. They're in for a rude awakening once that cracking, you know, starts coming aboard. All right, but we know the. Artist was crushed by a beast. Yes! Three more fates right. So we got Edward Spratt, Nunzio Pasqua, and who else did we get? Oh yeah, the dude who got exploded. Alright, that puts us at six. Only... Only 54 left. So we should be able to identify this guy. He should be the third mate's steward. Roderick Anderson. Let's find out which soul we have to steal. Well, looks like we gotta go back up top. That does not look like a comfortable position. 
Is that dude like arm barring him? Getting all Ronda Rousey on it. All right, we try and race the smoke. Ah, oh, try to take the corner too tight. All right, let's see what this person's going to show us. In that really awkward position. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Huh? Thought I'd forget. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Okay, nice. so we got... Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Huh. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is... Oh! Oh, he smacked him right in the jaw. Okay, so we got some information from this. That dude is Danish. And then that dude had a brother. That guy's like, oh man, that is crazy. Who's this guy? Hmm. Okay, so the guy getting clubbed is Danish. The goat saw the whole thing. What did you see? Who are these people? Answer me. Okay, so we got the Danish guy. Dude's mad at him because he thinks he killed his brother. So we got to start investigating how many Danish people are on this ship. Check through real quick here. So many English people. There's one guy from Denmark, Lars Lind. Uh, he's the only one. And he got clubbed. Let's scroll up and find the guy that killed him. So we need to look for two people with the same last name. Scroll through this and hopefully we can find two people with the same last name because that would indicate, you know, him and his brother. Just gonna keep scrolling through here. Oh, Peters. There were two, two Peters. Samuel and Nathan. Uh, but we don't know which one, which of the Peters brothers that is I'm gonna have to wait more information all right let's boom tube on out of here all right, back to the book oh so that was all of all of the doom with a whole lot of dead people Oh, and more disappearances. Hmm. Bargain chapter. Looks like we're not getting to that anytime soon. Well. Seems like there's a lot of interpersonal conflict aboard the Oberdin as well. Along with executions by firing squads and just general mischief aboard the ship leading to many untimely deaths and disappearances all right well there's a lot of 
new information was presented to us. We were able to put some pieces together. We're going to keep putting those pieces together. Next time.